Hello, today we are going to be making field test of those two Chinese copy of military antennas that are intended to be operated on PRC-148 and PRC-152 radios. They are designed to work on UHF and VHF frequencies, despite of having markings like on the genuine one that are telling us it is a broadband. If that's going to be genuine one, it should cover 30 to over 500 megahertz. And on the ruler antenna, it can be tactical VHF or 30 to over 500 megahertz, depending on the version that you are going to be purchasing. Radio that I'm going to be using for our testing is this 3PRC152 replica that is extremely nice because it's got metal shield and working KDU. It also supports a real handset without any modification. So in my personal opinion, this is absolutely one of the most beautiful buy. And the antenna is ended with TNC connector. So it's mating extremely nice with our metal shield body and create a rugged construction so it is not like a plastic bow fang that is pretending to be looking like PRC 152 but it is solid brick of metal that is like feeling extremely rugged and also accepting real accessories so you've got absolutely no problem in using real antenna we are going to be testing them inside vhf band and we are going to see whether it is just a gimmick made for look for like airsoft players or we are going to get benefit from using the longer antenna and as you can see i've got it nicely collapsed but we can remove that velcro and now our antenna is going to be nicely extended and creating that tactical look. So it is pretty nice. Build quality of that ruler antenna is superb if we compare it to like a cheap Chinese AliExpress version. You can quickly see that this one is much closer to real deal like the metal element is much thinner here on the like a generic thing just take a look at the impedance matching circuitry and compare it to that copy it's just looking solid of course it's got like a real marking but i'm pretty sure they are just putting everything that you've got on the genuine one and you should absolutely do not follow it here you've got the markings we've got our tnc and it looking really nice the only thing i do not like is that the gooseneck is not really strong and it bending itself on its weight so this is one thing that i would change to it but if we skip that, it's looking really amazing and it's hard to tell that it is a Chinese copy. And if you notice here, yes, I'm using genuine Harris battery and it's working perfect. Before we go into field, I kindly ask you not to post question how far we managed to reach because this is not something that I'm trying to check we are going to compare one antenna to another in exactly the same condition and you might ask why and that's because if here is going to be our base station that is going to be receiving and here is going to be one mountain and i'm going to be here then we are going to get perfect audio then I will be trying it here and the wavelength needs to be bounced from something else so we can go with that path and here we can have a worse condition than when I'm going to be 
standing here. So here is longer path, but there are much better condition. So if I would like to just impress you with the range, I would go into very far away hilltop and we are going to get perfect line of sight and I could impress you and tell you this is how far we go and this is absolutely not a scope of that video. I would like to check them in a more tactical condition where I'm not going to be picking the best spot to get the best distance but like a real condition when I have to use them not looking where and this is what we are going to be doing so let's go into field and let's try them out one two three four five location number one chief chinese knockoff antenna one two three four five location number one One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Location number two. Short Chinese antenna. One, two, three, four, five. Location number two. One, two, three, four, five. Location number two. Long Chinese blade antenna one two three four five location number two long blade antenna one two three four five radio check using short cheap Chinese antenna location number three short antenna one two three four five location number three radio check using long Chinese plate antenna one two three four five radio check long blade antenna one two three four five radio check short chief Chinese antenna location number four one two three four five radio check one two three four five location number four long Chinese plate antenna one two three four five location number four long Chinese plate antenna one two three four five location number five cheap Chinese short antenna one two three four five location number five I'm back and I finish reviewing our test footage. From that we know that our long antenna work and provide improvement over the short stock one. At every single point we manage to lower down the background hiss, the static in the background and turn it lower and make my voice appear cleaner. On the last position, the stock antenna, the short one, didn't work at all and didn't open squelch at the receiving station when the long whip was working just fine until I slightly bent it, then it's loose reception. So I'm pretty sure that we were really at bleeding edge of our range and it was just working fine. The next test point that I was making, none of them work at all. If you are asking yourself, should you buy this antenna and will it give you any tactical advantage, then the answer is 100% yes. It will make your audio sound more pleasant and also location where in normal case you will have absolutely no range you can make a working communication. So it is a absolutely 100% not a gimmick and not think just for look. 
If you give me some love in comments or in form of thumbs up, then I can make another field test for you and compare the real military whip against the Chinese copy. And we are going to see if there is any difference. And my prediction is that the real military deal that a lot of people want to have is going to be actually worse because it have to be a real broadband antenna with a wideband matching circuitry. So I predict this will work worst. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.